Hello, I'm Dr. Ross Henry with the Kimberling Animal Hospital. This video is number two as we discuss diabetes in our pets. So, your pet has been diagnosed with diabetes. The first thing you want to do is take a deep breath, step back, kind of organize your thoughts as we discuss a treatment plan for our pets. Now, one of the things that we will address is food and diet. Now, like in humans, being fit can really help manage these diabetic dogs. They utilize less insulin if they're fit and trim. So if your pet is obese, one of the first things to consider is getting some weight off of them. Now, in dogs, we usually recommend a high-fiber, low-fat diet. Now, the high-fiber does two things. It fills your pet up so they feel full and it slows down the absorption of sugars from the intestinal tract into the bloodstream. So you don't get these wide peaks and valleys of sugars. It's more linear and uniform during the course of the day. Also, being low fat, they're low calories. So the goal of this diet is to help your dog lose some weight and develop more energy. Now, cats are a little bit different. Cats are meat eaters. So we usually recommend a high-protein, low-carbohydrate diet. Cats don't metabolize carbohydrates very well. But cats are unique. And one diet may not fit every cat. So there may be a little trial and error to find out which diet works best for your pet based on the obesity, uh, their personal taste, uh, the severity of diabetes. And no matter how good the diet is and how key it is to the management of diabetes doesn't do us any good if they won't eat it. So if you make the commitment to change the diet, you'll need to stay with it because the transition may be very long. It may be very frustrating and trying. Pets that are fed high calorie, high fat diets are very difficult to transition to a diabetic diet. So if you go cold turkey, they'll turn their nose up at immediately. So it's something you want to do gradually over time. But the goal of the diets is to increase the energy on your pet, to decrease the weight if needed, and to decrease the dependence on the injectable insulins that you may have to use. So I'm Dr. Ross Henry with the Kimberling Animal Hospital. Join us for video number three as we talk about the use of insulin injections in our pets.